Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman and I am here today doing another how to build after how long was it? Uh, half a year? Six months? Hmm, let's just say the time has flown for me. I'm currently filming this from my new studio. But anyway, I'm here today to show you how to build a long, a long awaited mock. Master, great being of the multiverse. You guys have been requesting him basically non-stop since he came out, and I haven't really gotten around to doing it. Mostly because I didn't want to, but hey, had to get around to it eventually. So here it is, as a Merry Christmas present, here is how to build the master. And as usual, we will start with the legs, or I guess in this case the lower leg, since the legs are so massive. All right, now starting with the legs, these are the parts you'll need. As usual, you can pause the video now and build everything you see here. Anything that's too complicated to explain with a simple picture, I will explain as I'm building. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, you're going to want to build the foot. Uh, it's a very simple build. This is just a simple Technic construction with a spike on the end. You can just snap that into the Paraka foot here. There you have it, that's the foot. Uh, also, everything in this build will be mirrored and uh, replicated for the other legs, so make sure you build it, make sure you're gathering two sets of everything you see here. Um, next, we'll go, we'll start building the leg construction. So, you're gonna want to have one of these double socket pieces, have a pin going through here with a hub on the end, and a um, and a stick through ball joint on the lower end. Go ahead and build this construction out of a four long lift arm, a uh, very useful piece, or two long lift arm, and two of these Technic connectors, and a three long axle up here. Uh, that will go ahead and slide right in here, and it will appear to bend a little bit. That's, that's fine, that's part of the construction. Um, go ahead and build these two things you see here with these bent purple lift arms. Um, these are very rare pieces actually, these in the old purple, so if you're trying to build him exactly the same as you would, then they're going to be kind of hard to find, just fair warning. But if you're just using this for mock inspiration, I don't blame you. Alright, uh, let's see. This goes, go ahead and put everything in this construction right in the center here so slide all the connectors along and then that blue pin will snap into the or will slide into the um, it will slide into the ball joint just like that okay then go ahead and build this out of this uh, Technic skate piece uh, I put two studs here for detail and that's one of the uh, that's one of those connectors on the inside that just goes ahead and snaps right on here like that. It might be a little difficult to get it on there, but it'll get on there just like so. All right, and then go ahead and take the other lift arm and snap it onto the other side. This might be a little bit difficult because this is sort of an illegal connection. And it's very forced. I'm trying to say. There we go. Get it right in there. Uh, this axle here will stagger on either side, just like so. And then uh, now we get to add the detail. So go ahead and slide this piece right along here, or right into here, like so. Ah. Right here like that, and go ahead and do one on the other side as well. Like that. And then uh, on the back, you're going to take this Bionicle Stars armor piece, and on the bottom hole here, you're just going to slide that right in. A very useful piece will hold on to it. Then you take this three long lift arm and stick it onto the exposed axle up here. And that holds it, well, it doesn't hold it down, but it covers it. Then go ahead and take these two very useful pieces and add them to either end of the uh, of the lift arm here, and point them downwards. So you have something like that. 
Then go ahead and take these two monster claw pieces and put them on the, the bottom axle hole of this lift arm and do that for either side as well. Then on the back you're going to take this uh, CCBS armor add-on piece and then stick the, uh, the bottom pin connector here onto the uh, axle connector here. And that should fit perfectly just like that. Then, last but not least, take this Paraka armor on the front and go ahead and snap it on upside down like that with the spike pointing up on it. And that's the lower leg constructed. And then go ahead and snap the foot onto the ball joint on the bottom. And we will move on to the upper leg. Alright, and now time for the upper leg. These are the par parts you'll need. Uh, go ahead and construct the Technic the main Technic section of this, so go ahead and take these two lift arms with the offset nubbly on the end of it, and then this piece, set it in sideways like so, just like that, and fill it in on the other side, like that, um, then go ahead and take this piece, and stick it straight in the front like that, and then secure it on both sides with this these loose two long pins, so you have it laying flat against this side but sticking out the front like so. Um, now this is a modified version of my simple custom CCBS limb technique. Um, go ahead and take this double pin, or this quadruple pin connector, uh, slide a ball joint on through a uh, axle, and then snap that to the double pin connector here. Then go ahead and get a hand connector, uh, add this Lego stud to the back for detail, and then one of these connectors on the bottom. And that connects just like so, right in there. Um, then next for some structure and armoring, you'll take another one of these golden ski pieces from Brutaka. Uh, stick two studs on the end, and then on the inside put one of these Technic connectors and a two long axle. Go ahead and add that to the back just like so. And uh, next we'll take this little cheese slope and this literally just sets in on the top of that ski right there and goes in the little hole. And to hold it in you'll take one of these slicer foot pieces and slide it on the back of the uh, back of the hand connector and that'll never fall out now. Um, then go ahead and take these two Technic connectors, stick them on either side of this lift arm like so and obviously arrange the spikes as depicted here. And then last but not least, take this big uh, size 5 CCBS shell and snap it over the ball joint in the center. And then last but not least, add the add-on, like so. And that's the upper leg. Go ahead and grab your lower leg that you built earlier, and you can just snap that on by the socket there. And you get a nice thick leg design. And you'll need two, and anything on here, well, I mean, here, let me grab the other one. They're actually symmetrical, so I guess you don't have to mirror them, but the construction themselves is mirrored on the two that I built, so yeah. Mirror them if you want to, you don't have to. Anyway, let's move on to the lower arms next. Alright, for this next section, these are the parts you'll need. Go ahead and gather everything you see here. Um, to start with, we'll build the construction that revolves around this Anika piece of armor. So you'll need that, but first of all you'll need to grab these two pieces and this piece. Put them together like so. Just like that. Then uh, you'll go ahead and grab this axle piece and this Technic connector with the two uh, axle pin connectors on it. Slide that through, then go ahead and Take this and stick that through the other side like so, so that they overlap each other like that. Then go ahead and take this Technic connector and just add that to the end like so. And then just snap that right into the center of this Anika armor piece. And then add, slide this axle all the way through until you get that. Then next up you're going to want to take this construction, like this, 
And then this piece, that'll stagger in between the two of them like that. And then that whole thing will slide through the second hole in that Technic connector. Then go ahead and add the other side. There we go. Make sure all these connectors stay staggered like that. Then go ahead and take two of these to these Technic lift arms and then add them to either side just like so. One here. One here and one here. Just like that. And then um Yeah, and then we're go ahead and take we're gonna go ahead and take these two pieces, stick them on either side up here as well. Just like that, and yes, the uh, the gray pins will be exposed. Um, then go ahead and take this construction here, which is one of these connectors over an Anika neck with two stud pins and two cheese slopes leaning it, or facing each other, just like that. Um, also, you're going to take this this um, flat tile and just stick it uh, right on the front of this pin, just like that, and that's just for a little bit of filler just like so. Then go ahead and add that in right there. And then take the four long axle and connect that through the very useful pieces just like that. Until you get something like that. Take two more very useful pieces and fill in the gap here just like so. Like there and there. And then uh, take two bull rock eyes and cover the exposed axle there and there. So you get something that looks like that. Next up on the back, you're going to take this lift arm and this too long axle and stud pin. And this is just going to go ahead and stick in to the back like that. And don't worry about that axle sticking out because it's supposed to. Um, uh, yeah, and next up, go ahead and just take this piece and connect it here and here on the pins on the inside of that armor piece, just like so. Then next up, go ahead and take these two armor add-on pieces, these rubbery ones, and stick them on just like so. Um, like this, I believe. Like that, and like that. think. Maybe I got that wrong. Yeah, it's like, it's this way. Alright, and then last but not least, add this Technic, or uh, this Creature Claw on top of the whole thing, and that's how you get the lower arms. And then obviously the hand design, the classic Gringat hand design. Uh, this time it's built with two studs like that, and the pointer finger claw is bigger than the other two. But yeah, I've shown you how to build that a hundred times. Just go ahead and snap that onto the, the ball joint there without breaking it, of course. And that's the lower arm. Go ahead and build two of those and mirror the hand. And okay, slight correction on that last one. These do not go up like this. I almost had it right. You t attach them to this and this right here and you face them down. So they should be like that, rather than like that. So, now we'll move on to the upper arms. Alright, now time for the upper arm. These are the parts you'll need. Go ahead and take this simple construction out of hand connectors and lift arms. Uh, add, you know, with the little um, one and a half long pin right there. Take this construction out of lift arms and go ahead and stick that just like so. With the uh, side with the studs on the bottom facing upwards and the spike facing downwards. Um, then go ahead and take this construction and stick it right on there, just like that. It looks a little loose, but it's fine, trust me. Then go ahead and take this piece with the Technic connector on the inside, put it on just like so. So the uh, 
lower curve is facing towards the bottom. Um, then, then you just need to armor it, so go ahead and take this armor add-on piece and add it in right up there, just like so. And the, uh, this piece goes right here, and uh, the um, edge of it lips over the, uh, the ski piece, just like that. Then go ahead and add this Anika armor piece, which faces this direction on the inside, just like so. And last but not least, and this is going to be a bit of a loose connection, but don't worry about it too much. Uh, it goes ahead and sticks it on just like so. Now, I built this as a right shoulder, but in order to make it a... These two pieces should be on the front though, just like that. And that's how you build the shoulder. Now go ahead and take the lower arm. And yes, I built it the opposite on the for blah, blah, blah. I built it for the opposite shoulder, so I'm grabbing the other arm. This is the only part of the mock that is actually mirrored, so yeah. And that's how you build the arms. Obviously you'll need two, but I have built two. So uh yeah, I'll I'll fix that off camera and I will move on to the waist. Alright now for the waist these are the parts you'll need. To start with let's go ahead and build the back armor construction. So start with this Hero Factory foot, add the two details on the side and this one and a half long pin on the inside. Then take this three long lift arm with the uh, with just pin holes and these two stud three long axles. Just slide that in the back like that and turning it around, take these two axle extenders and add them to either end, just like that. You get that. And then um, back on the inside, you're going to want to take this piece and I believe slide it in the yeah in the top pinhole of the Hero Factory foot, and that's a three long lightsaber rod, not a um, not a four long as they usually come in. Then take this axle extender uh, ball joint and slicer foot piece, snap it into the ball joint and attach it to the two studs like that. And then next set that down. Uh, to construct this piece it's just two uh, exoforce arms, two robot clips, a ball joint and a pin, or a blue pin. Build that, and then this construction is just a Vaki waist, a hand connector, a four long axle, a um, ball joint, and one of these corrugated purple tubes. And this is a five long axle going through here. Take these two, um, take these two pins with uh, six long axles on the inside, and uh, four long tubes on it stud on the side of the hand connector, put those on either side of this piece, just like that, and they splay outwards like that a little bit. Then go ahead and attach this piece, just like so, yeah, just like so, where the, uh, the pin will go into the hand connector, like that, and it'll be a little awkward to fit it in there because these axle extenders don't like to be stuck in between ball joints, but they will fit. And it, if you angle them correctly, they will also fit better. Also that pin, that one and a half long pin will fit in the, in this round part of the, um, of the hand connector. Just like that, if you can see it. Let's try and get some light on it, there we go. Alright, and last but not least, take this, um, Take this Hero Factory armor piece, put the uh, hand or put the robot claws into the axle extenders, and turn it around and plug the blue pin in the center hole of the Vaki waist, just like that. And that's all you need to do for the waist. And next, we'll move on to the torso and the head, the longest part of the video, I'm assuming. Alright, now time for the torso. These are the parts you'll need. I'm going to show you how to build 
the main structure of the torso first and then show you how to build the armor and the other structure that gets added on later. So to start with you're going to want to build these large chunks. So this is just a double sided uh, socket connector. I've got two two long axles on either side along with two more and two axle extenders on either side of the other side. And then there's a ten long axle uh, stuck straight through with two washers on either side of that. You'll want to build one of those. This is, uh, this is a Mata neck piece with a two long pin and two two long axles with two very useful pieces on either side. And then for the rest of the construction, you're going to start with this Xamer Sphere launcher piece. Build this construction out of a very useful piece and two three long pins and stick that through the, uh, the launcher hole right there and have it connect to the bottom like so should pretty much balance in there perfectly. Uh, go ahead and stick a um, stick a Xamersphere in there for filler um, and then on the inside just go ahead and stick this piece and stick this piece on the front just like so. That's just a hand connector with a ball joint on the bottom and two two long axle or yeah two long axles on either side. Once you've built that go ahead and take this and this large construction here uh, Set that on top just like that so that the ball joint uh, surrounds this axle piece right there. And then take two uh, five long thin lift arms and bridge the connection between the red two long pin and the two long pin on the other side, just like so. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and take these two pieces, these two Technic piece constructions with the blue pins. And stick them on top of the Xamersphere launcher piece, just like so, and do one for either side. Once you have that, you want to flip them forward and stick the axles through all the way as far as they'll go, just like that. Then moving on, we will go ahead and take uh, these two pieces and then just slide the uh, Slide the round hole all the way through. Stick it on either side, just like that. I believe. Then go ahead and take these, uh, this additional, I uh, guess that's an eight long axle, and stick that straight through this piece, just like so. And then snap that on, and this construction here is just two Technic pieces like that with a blue long, a blue long pin, a blue pin, right there, a too long blue pin. How about that? Stick that all the way down on the other side. There we go. Then next, go ahead and attach this piece on, like that, and like that on either side. So you got this construction, and then take this whole section and just snap it on in front of the hand connector like so and that's something that's what you should get uh, moving on we will sh I'll show you how to build the shoulder construction all right and in order to build the shoulder construction you're going to want to start with what you see here these this is mirrored so you just need to build two of what you see um, go ahead and start by taking this technic piece attach it to uh, the bottom like that. Then go ahead and take this piece and slide it on to this uh, three long axle that's sticking out through the front. And then go ahead and attach the other bent lift arm just like so. Let, it, let them snap together all the way. Then go ahead and attach this like so in between with this three long axle. It has a cheese slope and a washer on it. Let that slide all the way in, just like that. Then angle the cheese slope diagonally. Um, next, you're going to want to take this piece and stick it on the back for armoring. And last but not least, this slicer foot goes on the top, just like that. And you'll mirror that, build two of them. Then take your torso construction that you built earlier. And this literally just snaps on to, the, to either side, just like that. And that's how you build the frame for the whole upper torso. 
He's got very wide shoulders, as you can tell. And next I will show you how to build the armor and add it on to this construction. So besides the construction of this piece, most of the armor add-ons are pretty self-explanatory. This is just a simple pile of lift arms here. This is just a Bionicle Stars armor piece with one of these lift arms on it and a too long pin. This is literally just a Hero Factory chest plate. Nothing special about it. This is a Bulrock shield with two very useful pieces on it. And for the construction of this Anika, his Anika Pex, uh, you're just going to want to build a Add these greebles to this uh, Anika chest piece, or er, yeah, shoulder armor piece. Then go ahead and attach this piece on the inside by sliding this hand connector on the inside. Then taking a three long axle with a, a flat stud on top of it. Then go ahead and add this axle extender right there and a robot clip with a, a robot handpiece with a um, spike on it and then one of these uh, other greeble pieces like so. Once you've got that go ahead and take your torso construction and we will start by adding this piece. This piece just attaches straight into the gold uh, gold axle hole right there. Um, this uh, Borak shield attaches to this axle and this pin, so right in the center, just like that. Um, on the back is where these two pieces will attach, so this this pin will go into this hole in the Technic on either side, just one mirroring the other, like that, and like that, there we go, and flipping it back over, you're going to want to take for each, uh, for each side, you'll take this connection here and stick it into that hole on the torso, just like so. Then uh, push them up as far as they'll go, I believe, like that, yep. Then last but not least, on this axle hole and this pin hole, you will attach the pin connections on this torso piece, and actually I think you may want to tilt these down as far as they go actually, then yeah, then just slide that on over the top, and that's how you build the uh, upper torso. I'll just go ahead and show you how to connect the lower torso, it's pretty simple. All three of these axles sticking out will go into each of these three ball joints right here. Pretty self-explanatory, and it may take a little bit of finagling to get it in there, but it will eventually go in. Once you got it in there, you can shift it around until you got it just right. And there you go. Obviously, six hand connectors make a very strong and sturdy waist articulation connection. All right, and last but not least, the head is simply just a Metru head with a dark red trans brain and a Kanohi Olmec with two horns sticking out the front. Put those together, snap it onto the socket on top, and there you have the head and the torso. All right, and I will have to adjust my tripod to show you how to connect the limbs. All right, now that you've got everything built, now I just need to show you how to finally put it all together. So, obviously, legs go on the leg joints, like so. There we go. And with all these uh, hand connectors with uh, studs on them, you'll pop a lot of them off trying to put them back on, but yeah. And he's not too, uh, too good at holding himself up if I'm not careful about it so just a fair warning I like to take these off before I attach the uh, shoulders because it just makes it a lot easier and that way the uh, studs don't go flying every which way there we go there's one arm 
and the other arm obviously goes on the other shoulder. Yeah. There we go. And last but not least, you can just snap the uh, skull spider shoulders back on. And... Come on, get on there. Oh, and knocked the Lego stud off. One of the problems with having a big golden greebled titan. So very fragile. Alright, and... Oh my gosh, you can't even see its head. That's how you build the master. Let me adjust the camera. Whee! There we go. That's how you build the master. All right, guys, that is it. That is how you build the master. As usual, please go ahead and leave your support down in the comments. Any comments, questions, or memes you have to share with me, go ahead and throw them down there. I'll be sure to read them. As usual, feel free to build this mock or use any of its designs with or without credit. I don't really mind. If you do build your own version of this mock, feel free to share it with me and I will post it in the comments below as part of the awesome people section. But without further ado guys, once again I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around for six months since my last how to build. And I will see you in the next one.